What's going on, Aqua Force? Welcome back to the Watching McQueen channel, man. Yes, sir, we are back, man. I hope you guys are having an excellent day today, man. Today is what, Wednesday? Yes, it is, okay? Like I said, I hope you guys are having an excellent day today, man. Look, you know, I finally got the Ray-Ban glasses lenses. You know what I'm saying? The damn, you know, these are the Ray-Bans that, you know, I've been using to record, okay? I look something like a light-skinned Clark Kent with them on. You feel me? You know? Something like that. You know, something like a light skinned Clark Kent, you know. Anyhow, okay. I'm glad that they finally came in, so now I don't just be walking around with lensless ass glasses, okay? Uh, trying to get some funny footage for the, for the videos, you feel me? So, uh, <clears throat> anywho, we are back here today, man, with another delusional ass dude, okay? This guy's gotta be related to the other guy. You know what I'm saying? Now, who, who, McQueen, what other guy? What are you talking about? This guy right here, okay? This guy right here has to be related to the other guy who said it was okay to suck on that was attached to his girlfriend and still claim that he is a straight man, okay? <laughs> this guy has got to be his, his cousin, his brother, somebody, okay? Uh, because we have another situation where this guy is dating a man, okay? He's dating a man, all right? This is the man. All right, and, <laughs> and uh, you know, he's on the same page as the other guy. You know what I'm saying? You guys already know who I'm talking about. You should, if you don't know who I'm talking about, go back and watch the videos, man. All right, because uh, they, because this is just getting out of control at this point, right? I don't know if this guy was inspired to come out with his own story, okay? But uh, let's go ahead and hear what he has to say, man. Apparently, this guy is also dating a man, and he's claiming that he's not Frody for it. So let's go ahead and hear. What their story is, man. This is Ayla. She fell in love with David. Oh, I, I already knew by the shorts. I already knew by the shorts. With. I already knew by the shorts. The teal blue. With like, they're basically boxers. Okay. They're basically boxer briefs. They, and they're teal blue. He gets judged because I am his trans Barbie fiance. Since uh -huh. transitioning, Ayla's obsession with plastic surgery has concerned friends. A little bit worried about how it could have a negative impact on the health further down the line. Looks just like a liberal. Looks just like this is like this is like the typical liberal look right here. All right. A little bit worried about how it could have a negative. Look at this guy. Okay. This is how all the damn. This is how all the damn people in the comment section always saying some liberal ass statements look like, okay? This guy right here, all right? Now, either like that or they got the, you know, the colored hair with the piercings, the septum piercings usually, uh, okay? The the glasses are always, you know, a, 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 a staple in their look, okay? But usually it's the colored hair, the femboy ass look, okay? They're either fat or they're femboy nerdy ass looking people, okay? Uh, typical liberal look, okay? of impacting the health further down the line. And in the past, Ayla's family have expressed doubts about David's intentions. I'm a straight guy. I never set out to date a trans person. Nothing positive from family. Yeah, just horrific. I'm Ayla. This is David. He gets judged because I am his trans Barbie fiance. David and I met on social media. He messaged me. Here we are 16 months later. Engaged. That was a try. He messaged you. Okay, let me figure this out real quick. He messaged you, okay? Did it say in your bio that you are a man? If it did not, I still think this guy's for you, okay? Because <laughs> how do you look at you and not know that this is a man? I mean, do you see this damn crimson chin? Like, damn. Damn. Come on, dog. Because I am his trans Barbie. Look like it's got the Randy Orton chain. You know? David and I met on social media. He messaged me. Here we are 16 months later. Engaged. I was attracted to her the second well, I seen her. And I, uh, I knew she was attracted to me too. <laughs> With her reaction. <laughs> Used to. I just don't understand how you hear a man to or talking like that. <laughs> and think that that is attractive, okay? 
How are you claiming that you are a straight man and you like femininity? Okay, you know what that means. Like you're, when you when you are a straight man, okay, that means energetically you are attracted to the feminine essence of a woman. Okay, so how do you hear that manly ass? Aha. Okay. And say that you are a straight man. How does that turn you on? That doesn't bother you, okay? The looks alone, okay? Maybe I could get behind you if you if you had a convincing enough transformer, okay? Maybe I could understand that just by face value, at first glance, maybe, that if you had a convincing enough transformer, that just off of the looks, maybe, right? But when you hear something like this, I knew she was attracted to me too. <laughs> with her reaction. When you hear that, how does that <laughs> how does that not just turn you off? I don't understand that. You are also a fruitcake, sir. Okay? Used to be a scaffolder. Now um, I'm a content creator. Joining the forces. <laughs> yeah. I knew Ayla did so adult content. We wanted to move into the world of doing it together. It gave us more flexibility, more time together, more real life. And we love doing it. We look good together too. So, you know, why not? Me and David had done a couple of videos. I didn't want to do any more until I'd had my surgery. There's many parts to getting my boobs bigger for me. It's something that I've been kind of attracted to, real life size Barbie. And I was so, so excited for that because I was able to more like visualize myself a bit rather than a small little doll. So I've always been kind of drawn to the plastic look. It's definitely gone further than I thought it would. It's felt like life or death. It's felt like I need to have the surgery done. It's about Ayla being who she wants to be. That's what's the most important thing. I'm still oh, a, come on, man. a real person. Get the hell out of here. I can be as fake on the outside as I want. Before we met, she says, I need to tell you something. I was like incredibly nervous to tell Davis that I was what I expected from him. Dude, was like, come on, man. Look at this guy. Look at this dude's shorts. <laughs> like, come on, man. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Just off of the shorts alone, you back there brushing her, her hair like she is a Barbie. You look like you played with Barbies and when you were growing up, okay? You see? In them damn goofy-ass shorts, okay? There is no way, shape, or form that if you were standing there looking at me in person, telling me that you are a straight man, that I would believe you for a second. You, sir, are a fruitcake. And hey, listen to me, there's nothing wrong with it, okay? Some might say there is something wrong with it. I'm not saying that, okay? I'm not saying that. If you want to go ahead and suck female dong, okay, or male dong on a female, anyways, man, you get you get what I'm trying to say, okay? It's not a damn female. Anywho, you get what I'm trying to say. If you want to go ahead and suck dong, no matter who it's attached to, and if you want to go ahead and get stuck in that, Okay? Hey, that's your business, my brother. That is your prerogative. I don't want nothing to do with it, though. Now, I'm not saying that you're pushing that narrative on me, but you kind of are, okay? And when I say you not, when I say you are, okay, I'm not saying me directly because I had a choice to not watch this video, okay? However, I thought it was a great opportunity to make it a funny video and to make fun of you, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and make fun of the whole delusion that is this, con this, this concept, okay? Um, However, right, like I said, I do have a choice to not indulge in, you know, the degeneracy that is this video, right? I do have a choice. However, when I say us, when I say me, I'm speaking for a people. I'm speaking for the world. Okay? Y'all are trying to push this fruity narrative on us so damn bad. You want this damn concept to be accepted so bad that unfortunately it is working. Unfortunately, it is working. Not on me. But unfortunately, it's working on the masses. Okay? Now, now I'm not saying it's working entirely on the masses because obviously there's a lot of smart people out there that uh, know that this is just BS, right? However, I mean, it's working well enough to know that there's a, a, a brigade of liberals, the Rainbow Mafia, as I call them, okay? On all social media platforms who now have somewhat of a voice, okay? And they created this thing called cancel culture, all right? I don't really know if cancel culture is really truly, truly, truly true, okay? Um, I do believe it's true to an extent. Uh, 
But I don't think that someone who is genuinely real and a good person could ever truly be canceled just because they speak the truth. That's what I believe. Okay. Um, however, okay, if you do some real, real weirdo stuff, yeah, I mean, I think the cancellation is well deserved, right? Like R. Kelly, for example. Um, however, though, I'm still gonna bump out R. Kelly. Anyways, that's another topic for another day, right? But this is just an absolute tragedy, atrocity, um, abomination, if you will. Never anything to me. I've only ever seen you as a woman, and that was it. I still have the, that fear that, like, someday you're going to wake up and you're going to be like, sorry, Ayla, like, it's too much. I'm going to be with this girl and have kids. I'm like, with a normal woman. I'm with, yeah. I'm with a normal woman. I'm with my wife. And I'm, we are going to have kids. And we are going to have a family. Did I ever imagine dating a person? No. Because a woman's a woman to me. No one's ever suggested what? I was gay. Uh, not to my face, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to um, see that. <laughs> no, I'm not attracted to men. I'm attracted to women. She's a woman, and that's it. I'm a straight guy. I never say... That is a man, sir. That is a man. That is a man. You don't have good enough friends. You don't. I mean, just look Look at this, dude. Look at the other half. Look at the upper half of the body. Okay? And look at this. This just doesn't even look like it matches at all. Okay? It looks like it's just, you got damn stilt legs. Okay? That you could just tell. That that is a dude. He's one of us under there, man. Okay? He's a part of the team. Biologically. He's just disguised. He's just disguised. Okay? Don't be fooled, brother. Don't be fooled. But you already are a fool to be fooled. You have to be a fool to be fooled in this situation. Okay? You, sir, are in fact a fool. Okay? Is that a skull in between a butterfly? This dude was destined to be fruity. Come on, man. I always knew I was different to my brothers growing oh my up. God. My oh my God. Here we go. Here we go. The backstory of the damn fruit cakes. Okay. The origin, the fruit cake origins. Okay. I mean, look, look at this dude, man. Look at this, look at this guy. He's got the damn cargo shorts. Okay, he's out there in the damn wilderness. Okay, he's got the damn flannel. All right. You telling me this dude is a female? <laughs> oh my God. This dude said a woman is a woman and I am attracted to women. And you look at this picture and you say that this is a woman. You know that that's this, you know that this guy <laughs> is under that wig, right? You know that? He's under the old that wig and them damn yiddies, them damn fake ass yiddies, okay? This guy is. And you're attracted to women. Bro, Kate, great A. Family knew that too. Growing up on Sky, I was homeschooled for primary school and I was very much allowed to just be myself. So it wasn't until I went to high school that things changed. I remember always kind of joking to my family that I'm a girl, but it sounds bad to say it, but I'm a girl, but I'm an ugly girl. I began my socially when I was 24, then surgically when I was 26. I was performing in drag for maybe a couple of years at that point. This guy came up to me who I didn't know at the time was a guy. We had this instant connection and he was like, you should, you'd be so much happier. The next day I didn't take the drag off. I remember going out into public with my wig on and that was it. I was Ayla. Then I went to see my family on Sky showing up as Ayla and my mom was great about it and my brother was fantastic. He was like, you know, what's wrong with her showing up as she is right now? I feel like I'd wasted so much time already trying to keep family happy that as soon as I made that decision, it... <laughs> oh my God. You can't, I can't take the damn Rainbow Mafia seriously, bro. I can't. Let's 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 get an instant replay. Trying to keep family happy that as soon as I made that decision, it... <laughs> uh, 
Oh my god, fool! I can't. I can't. These dudes, these these dudes are funny. It was booking your surgery. That was it. I was off. My first surgery would have been 2018, and I had my face done for the first time. So I had like a wee jaw shave. I had my chin shaved. And my nose. I have a chin shave. I have a chin shave. You need to slow down, buddy, with the damn procedures, okay? It's, it's messing up your speech. It's messing up your speech. You already sound more like a dumbass than you did, you did before, okay? As you have Take the damn peanut butter out your mouth. And while you do, while you at it, take the dong out your mouth too, okay? It's infecting your brain. I was done, then I had five boob jobs, and then my reassignment surgery. I'll do my nose again, and I'll do... Family has always been the one and it, it doesn't make you feel great because you're so happy to finally be in a, a normal relationship. It's not met. This is in no way, shape, or form normal. Not even close. Okay? Sorry to damn burst your plastic bubble. All right? But this is in no way, shape, or form normal. Okay? We have got so much far out of touch of reality. That they have warped the definition of normal, okay? They have. Now, listen to me. I am no fan or advocate for normal, right? Because I'm not a normal person. Matter of fact, I believe we're all not normal people, okay? I just think that some people uh, are afraid of being themselves so much. Most people are. So they try to act normal to please the societal norms that the whites have put on all of us, all of us okay? That is what I believe the definition of normal is, right? So I, I guess in that sense, I can understand the man, all right, when he's saying that, right? But uh, let's 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 be real here, all right? Uh, let's use a, I guess, objective reality version of normal, okay, in this in this context, and let's just say it for lack of better words, okay? This is not normal. This is not a normal relationship. It's not farthest thing from it, okay? Farthest thing from it by family with the same shared excitement. It was really hard for me. Nothing positive from family. Everything was suspicious in terms of he's trying to use you. He'll just be wanting to get into the industry that you're in. Suspicions of, you know, why he'll be with you and probably saying that to a million other girl. My family were positive, which I've never had any negative comments for anyone. My mum's quite a simple person. The way I was when Ayla messaged me that she had something to tell me is the way that my mum reacted when I told her to. She was like, so, are you happy? Yep. Is Ayla happy? Yep. Do you make each other happy? Yeah. Through time, they'll see you happy and they'll know that you're serious. I do understand they was family's worries. Of course I do. Friends like Thomas have usually fought with guys like David. Is the guy a chaser? Is he after you purely because you're So Ivy, what do you think about oh me God. being a- Here goes the liberal. So let me, let me get this straight. So, so, so if this dude fires on your ass, right? Is it still the same if he's a woman? Can he technically knock your ass out? That's what I want to know, all right? Because technically, y'all got the same manpower. It's a fair fight, all right? That's that's what I want to know, all right? Surgery-obsessed diva. I've known you for so many years, and I've seen how much you've grown with him. Screaming. I'm very much a little bit worried about how it could have a negative impact on the health further down the line there for you. I know the effect that people who are not as open-minded or as understanding of these things are just going to see visually and make a really negative and wrong visual. Nah, this is just a damn, damn goofball brigade, man. I'm like, who, who even hangs out with people like this? Who hangs out with people who looks like these people, okay? <laughs> oh my God. I would feel weird even hanging out with the guy that looks like this dude right here, okay? I would feel weird even spending time in the same room with this guy, all right? Sometimes these people just look like the, the generic characters that just get added in, in the video games, like the NPCs. Sometimes they just look like the most generic created people, okay? Maybe even on 2K, 
You know, the guys that come off the bench with the ball things, they got the most John Smith, random ass names. Okay? This is what that guy looks like. Take away the hair, take away the, the glasses. That's what that dude looks like. All right. I've had enough. I've had enough. I've seen enough. I don't need to know nothing else. Okay. You are a fruitcake, sir. All right. And there is nothing wrong with it. Well, at least to me, because I don't really give a damn enough after I get off this video, right? Uh, some will disagree, okay? I'm not going to say that right now. However, I will say this. You are 1,000% a fruitcake. That is a man. You are in a relationship with man, and you, sir, are fruity. You play for the other team, all right? Do not ever get that, do not ever get that twisted, all right? I don't care who tells you anything that opposes that sentiment, all right? I don't care. Your mama, a dumbass, okay? Your friends, dumbasses, losers. Too much of a weenie to tell you the truth, okay? That man you're with, also a weirdo, okay? It is what it is, okay? You need to hear the truth, and I'm going to tell you the truth because I don't know you, and quite frankly, I don't care about you. However, okay, that's exactly why I'm telling you the truth. I mean, if I cared about you, I would tell you the truth regardless, too. But, hey, listen to me. Okay, you get the point. Okay, you are a fruitcake, and hey, man, that's your that's your that's your thing, man. That's your prerogative. Go ahead and be a fruitcake, frolic in the damn flowers all you want, man. All right, pick your damn daisies and your damn teal shorts. All right, do all your things. Like we'll do whatever makes you happy, brother. All right, but rest assured, you are fruity. Okay, y'all, let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section, man. Do you guys think that this dude is fruity? Do you think that he has a a point? Okay, do you think that this is a normal relationship? Okay, do you think that that thing is a, is a woman? Let me know all these opinions in the comment section, man. And make sure you guys hit the like button and make sure you guys subscribe. And I will see you guys next video.